oxidative damage is another type of uh, damage which is uh, uh, caused to DNA and it results in the mutations. The reactive oxygen species damage DNA. So the reactive oxygen species produced during cellular respiration which is electron transport chain you know the end receptor is oxygen. Uh, it may have the potential to damage DNA. But it is unlikely that they do so. Actually they don't damage DNA. Why? Because the respiratory chain doesn't normally release these reactive oxygen species. Although uh, they are produced uh, at the end of uh, electron transport chain but normally they are not released outside. Uh, secondly the cell cells contain superoxide dismutase this is an enzyme which is used to convert superoxide radicals into molecular oxygen and hydrogen peroxide. So this uh, superoxide dismutase it converts superoxides into molecular oxygen and hydrogen peroxide and then this hydrogen peroxide is acted upon by another enzyme which is catalase and this catalase converts this hydrogen peroxide to oxygen and water. Thirdly, superoxides and hydroxyl radicals are so reactive that if released from the respiratory chain they would react with the nearby biomolecules before they had chance to reach nuclear DNA. So these are uh, very reactive. So if they are very reactive they have much chance to react with the neighboring or with the biomolecules whichever uh, biomolecules they encounter before reaching to the DNA molecule. So the reactive oxygen species produced in this way do not damage the nuclear DNA under normal physiological conditions. So normally as you know these, uh, these uh, reactive species are not even released outside uh, the uh, ETC or the outside the organelles where the ETC is taking place. So these are not uh, that uh, uh, these are not the reason of damage to the DNA. The primary culprit however appears to be the hydroxyl radical which is produced by ionizing radiations. So the ionization radiations like uh, gamma rays and x-rays they uh, produce hydroxyl radicals and these are the main culprits which cause the oxidative damage to DNA. Hydroxyl radicals can also be produced chemically from hydrogen peroxide. So one reason of the production of these hydroxyl radicals is uh, the ionizing radiations and the other is chemical reactions and these are they are produced from hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide which is H2O2 is not as reactive as superoxides and hydroxyl radicals. So it has much longer half-life. So de definitely if it's, it is not very reactive definitely it will have longer half-life in the cell provided it escapes catalase and peroxidases. So these two enzymes catalases and peroxidases they uh, don't allow hydrogen peroxide to stay in the cell for longer times. If it does escape from these uh, uh, enzymes, hydrogen peroxide can be converted into hydroxide radical by the following reaction in which iron and hydrogen peroxide they react and they produce hydroxide radicals. This reaction is called Fenton reaction because Fenton was the scientist who discovered this reaction and in this reaction uh, instead of copper 
instead of uh, iron sorry copper manganese and cobalt can also be used